Welcome back, Drone Tech here. Who knew that all you needed to do to save democracy was have enough institutional power to treat your political opponents as if they were domestic enemies? It sounds completely insane and improbable in America, but it's real. It's happening, and here's another disturbing example. The argument is that Republicans are going to take over the chamber at some point, and Democrats are going to need that filibuster. Just last night, Donald Trump called for Republicans to pass stricter laws when it came to the election, voter ID restrictions. Voter ID restrictions? What are you talking about? Voter ID laws have wide national support. In fact, it's almost impossible to find Americans agreeing this much on anything. This is exactly why you can't trust Jake Tapper or CNN. To ban drop boxes, stop no excuse absentee voting. Doesn't she have a point? The Democrats might need that filibuster as soon as 2025 to, to stop Republicans from imposing even harsher voting restrictions. I love how Jake Tapper is correct here in his argument that getting rid of the filibuster would be a bad idea because eventually Republicans are gonna be in power and the Democrats are gonna want that ability. But then he couches it in this conspiratorial rhetoric that somehow Republicans are after everybody's voting rights, which is just a total blue anon left-wing conspiracy theory. And don't you just love how they're allowed to lower confidence in the election systems, which by their own standards is an attack on democracy? Now, you see that this hack, Jake Tapper, fake reporter, has clearly taken a side here, no doubt telling himself that there's no way he could be objective about this topic about voting rights. It's too important. But the problem for Tapper and Clyburn here is that there is no evidence of widespread voter suppression. And Jake Tapper knows very well that in places like Georgia and Texas, they've actually expanded voting rights by expanding the days that you can go and vote. And in the case of Georgia and Texas, they actually have more days to vote than in Joe Biden's home state of of Delaware. But are any of these people, any of these Democrats or their media mouthpieces, are any of them pointing to Delaware as a hotbed of voter suppression? No, no, no. And I just want to quickly circle back here on Tapper's claim that Republicans want to institute harsher restrictions. What we're really talking about here is just going back to pre-COVID rules, which they only instituted to give Democrats an advantage. That's their goal here. One party rule propped up by institutional powers like the media and the actual outlawing of their political opponents. Look, no, she is not right about that. No one has asked her to eliminate uh, the filibuster. <laughs> Say what? Today, the president turned the spotlight on the Senate, where current rules remain a major obstacle toward passing legislation. Mr. Biden throwing his support behind lifting the filibuster, declaring today the majority should rule on the United States Senate. He will support changes in the Senate rules, changes to the filibuster on this issue. Pass voting legislation by Martin Luther King Jr. Day next week, or rules in Washington could change. There is no excuse. No no excuse at all for Democrats not to make an exception to the filibuster for voting rights. Congresswoman, let me ask you about uh, you know something that Harry Reid told me just before uh, his passing in interviews this year. He, he said that it's time to get rid of the filibuster. No one has asked her to eliminate uh, the filibuster. Where's the fact check? If we do not protect the vote with everything that we've got, we will not have a country uh, to protect going forward. Okay, so he's really ramping up the rhetoric here and you should take him seriously. They're using their voting rights conspiracy theory as a justification to quote, use everything that we've got. For example, the DOJ's new domestic terrorism unit in order to quote, save the right to vote which isn't threatened by anybody but people like Clyburn and Jake Tapper. Then Clyburn continues, or, quote, we're not going to have a country to protect. This kind of insane hyperbole is only meant to do one thing. Rationalize the authoritarian takeover of the government by the Democrat Party and a brutal crackdown on the Democrats' political opponents and critics. No sense problem uh, that this democracy is here to stay no matter how we conduct ourselves. Our job, when we took the oath, we took the oath of office to protect this country from all uh, enemies, foreign and domestic. There are some domestic enemies that showed up on January 6th, and they didn't stop there. They're still going on. And you hear it when the president tweets out or whatever he says uh, about getting rid uh, of people's convenient 
voting places. Oh, how convenient for the Democrat Party. Their political opponents also just happen to be domestic enemies that we have to use all the tools that we have at our disposal to protect the country from. I mean, they're literally just saying now that unless Democrats win the election, then democracy in the country are over. Which then begs the question, what exactly do these people mean by democracy? You'll notice that they're never asked. They just generally say this word as a scare tactic. You know what's also just completely insane here? That man right there, James Clyburn, was one of 20 black caucus members that in 2000, after the Bush-Gore election, formally objected to certifying 25 of Florida's electoral college votes for Bush, which by Democrat standards today is an insurrectionist attack on democracy. Saying to paraplegics that you, you can't make it convenient for you to vote, saying to 90 year old that you gotta stand in line four and five hours to vote, and if anybody gives you a glass of water, uh, they will be uh, put in jail. How exactly are these voting laws a threat to democracy if they're just catching up to what Delaware's had for the last few decades? All right, folks, I just wanted to show you that one real quick. I hope you're all having a great Sunday, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments.